The strange disappearance on the Mexican border. Tiffany Hartley told police that pirates attacked her and her husband, David, while they were jet skiing on the Mexican side of Falcon Lake and that they shot her husband to death as they tried to flee. But Mexican officials and others say there are gaps in the wife's story, starting with the fact that neither Hartley's body nor his jet ski has been found. Tonight, Ryan Owens goes to Falcon Lake in search of answers. Search crews spent a second day on the waters of Falcon Lake looking for the body of David Hartley or for his jet ski or for any sign that what his wife Tiffany said happened exactly one week ago really did. There is growing skepticism on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border and she knows it. I'm in a tough spot. I really am. But I can't, I can't do anything until we can get over there and find him to prove that this is real. Tiffany says she and David crossed into Mexican waters on their jet skis to photograph the ruins of this church, partially submerged in the lake that straddles the border. And why did you want to go? Actually, my husband wanted to do the church. That's David. He loves history. I think people will say, come on, he was willing to risk his life in what he knew was a dangerous area to take a bunch of pictures of a church. He didn't feel it was going to be dangerous. David felt he knew the area well. He worked in Mexico for an oil company and only recently moved with his wife just north of the border. But Tiffany says once they finished taking pictures at that church, three small boats began following them. We just started going as fast as we could and they started shooting at us. When I looked back, I saw him flying over and I just saw blood. Tiffany says she then turned her jet ski around and tried to help her husband. When I jumped off, he was face down in the water, so I rolled him over, and then that's when I, when I saw he was shot in the head. The boat had come next to us and kind of pointed the gun at me a couple times. I think they were trying to figure out what do we do with her, and they left. I mean, they could have easily shot me. Nobody would know. This four foot 10, 100 pound woman says she tried to lift her six foot, 250 pound husband onto her jet ski, but couldn't. Then inexplicably, she says, the pirates came back. And then I saw the boats coming, so I had to put them back in the water. One of the things that is confusing, I think, to a lot of people about the story is that you say that they were chasing you and they were shooting at both of you, and then suddenly David falls off, and then they just sort of stop. stop. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. So that part doesn't really make sense to you either? No, not at all. Tiffany says she then raced back to the U.S. and called 911. Are you sure that your, your husband got shot? Yes, he was in his head and he was thrown off the jet ski and I couldn't pick him up to get him on mine. This man says he actually saw a boat chasing Tiffany on her jet ski. He is the one and only witness who backs up at least part of her story. He says he now fears for his life and would only come forward if we didn't show his face and altered his voice. Uh, I noticed this jet ski, ski in particular coming around an island that's right off the uh, shoreline. Um, had a boat kind of trailing behind it. Looked like it was chasing behind. But you didn't hear any shots or see anybody shooting? Uh, I didn't hear any shots. So based on what you saw that day, do you believe this woman's telling the truth? Yes, I do. The local sheriff says he believes Tiffany shot, no. based largely on that eyewitness account. There is no reason why we should not believe her. An independent witness, when, uh, when she was coming over here, actually saw the Mexican fishing boat chasing her. He's not the only one. Uh, no, I'm not satisfied. Uh, I, I, don't think you're, I don't think we're doing enough. Texas politicians, from the governor down, are lining up to support Tiffany and point to her story as an example of why they need more federal help to secure the border. Well, Tiffany so is really also getting strong support from her husband's so. family. Do you believe what you've heard from Tiffany? Absolutely, completely. 100%. No hesitation no whatsoever. No hesitation whatsoever. No. And it's like, for her to have to go through this and people doubt her, that hurts all of us. Most of those doubts come from south of the border. The Mexican district attorney in charge of that area told a South Texas newspaper, we are not certain that the incident happened the way they are telling us. One of the reasons the Mexican authorities may not be helping you is I think it's fair to say some of them don't believe your story. Yeah. They, they say, look, we didn't find a body. We didn't even find a jet ski. Uh, we don't even think this happened. It's hard hearing it. 
I can understand from their point of view. I have to put myself in their view that I can understand why they would think that. But it's not. It is true, and he is over there. I have no proof, I have no cameras, I have nothing. Tiffany has um, been on a media the blitz the, the last few days, free. telling her story to anyone who will listen. You can't imagine how awful it was not being able to help him. That increased exposure away, has brought more questions. Away. Did her husband's death have something to do with drugs? Did she have something to do with it? I would never even think about hurting my husband. I loved him. I know what I saw, I know what I was and, and unfortunately, I have no proof. That proof, she says, will only be found in these Mexican waters, largely controlled by drug cartels. We took a ride through the channels where American authorities say they can't go and where even the Mexican Navy says it's often not safe to search. That is the old church where the Hartleys allegedly came deep into Mexican waters just to take pictures. And where Tiffany Hartley believes her husband still is. Wednesday, she returned to Lake Falcon, flanked by a flotilla of police and politicians. They held a prayer service on the water. And then Tiffany tossed a single rose into the lake. You really feel if his body was found that your story would be confirmed, that there would be pictures of the church, there would be a camera, there would be a bullet wound to the head, and that your story as crazy as it may sound, would make sense if you yes. could just get his body back. Yes. And this would be all over and done with. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline on the Mexican side of Lake Falcon.